Hey everyone, Eric here from Lapfix. Back at it again, another repair. Got another MacBook. We got a, this is a melon. Yeah, this is a melon, and it's it's a nut. It's a little dirty here. Yeah. It's a nice 11 inch. You know what? 11 inch. I love that size, especially for like a laptop, but especially on the go. You want to talk about a good size on the go? 11 inch is the way to go. But I don't think they made it. When was the last time they made it? They didn't make a 2017 one, right? That was a 13 inch. Did they make them 2015? Is this the last one? Last year model? Something. It's a bit older. It's in here for a repair. And let's see what's going on with it. So right off the bat, um, what do we see? We see an aftermarket SSD. So that's what we're seeing here. We're going to see. I don't believe that's the problem. I think the problem is that it's not turning on. Oh, smack the mic for your headphone users. Rip headphone users. All right, so let's see. If I plug it in. See here, orange light, green light, red light, one, two, three, fan spins. And I don't think there's a display on it, right? Is that why it's here? Okay, it's doing like a CMOS reset. See that, they're like a CMOS reset, or whatever you want to call their CMOS resets. Let's see if it comes on. Because I see we undid the battery here. We're just checking it, it's a very dirty screen. I think it was stuck there, there's no there's not a backlight that I can see anything, just no display. But it is spinning, it's turning on, um, but there's no display. So, what's going on with it? This is a little bit interesting, huh? So, a good indication, um, if this was more like an LCD problem, or if it was just like a display out problem, uh, you would at least see that the caps light would come on, right? At least the caps light would show something, because you could tap that uh, whenever it does come on, you would see that that would be at least coming on, that means there's no display out. Uh, at least maybe there might be an LCD problem or something going on LVDS who knows maybe that's a little bit damaged where there's a backlight problem those things those are a lot of things that can happen especially on these ones but it doesn't look like to be the case and uh, let's go ahead and probably have to open it and see if we see anything interesting in it let's lift it up oh we see some sticky here all right and we do see some sticky in this area too let's go ahead and look under the microscope see it right here over here let's go ahead and take a look Nice smear across here, huh? And probably the worst area is obviously here. This is close to the chip. If I'm mistaken, the windbound isn't that a ROM chip? BIOS been impacted. I'm gonna clean off a little bit because, uh, I mean, if we're gonna be putting in like an ultrasonic, I'm gonna make sure that it's a little bit better. And we don't want something to be knocked off, especially if there's this much amount. Um, we want to try to get it, uh, get some of it off. Let's just remove it. It's very goopy. Doesn't look to be super like uh, you know, none of the traces, nothing, or nothing looks to be super burned or any anything really impacted there. Looks just be goop around it. Obviously, because we are getting uh, power to go onto it, and but there's just no display out. Um, obviously, it's it's getting there, but it didn't totally corrode. So maybe it wasn't used too much after it started just getting no display. Which is a good thing for you guys. I'm gonna show you a cool trick for getting sticky off a little bit better. And you see, it's already, I already started doing it, but I'm like, yeah, I should just probably record it. I didn't put an ultrasonic yet, believe it or not. So I have some distilled water here. I'm just kind of dipping it in a brush, and I'm cleaning it first because I don't want my ultrasonic to be absolutely disgusting. Look how well it's doing! Wow, look at that. So I've, again, I have a little bit of distilled water, and we're just doing that touching up a little bit just to get the sugar out because the sugar is really gross and I'm just dipping I have I don't know if I'm going to show the mi microscope yep there we go let's just have a little cup of distilled water I'm just dipping in and out and of course I want to do it but wow look at that and imagine with the ultrasonic look how clean it is already look at that it's a little trick especially little, here's a heavy sugar area let's see there's blood there. You see that? Watch it just dissolve away with this. Now, with this, this method is only good for a really uh, sticky substance, but look at that. For a really sticky substance, but if you're having corrosion, deep, deep corrosion, you're having um, a lot of components impacted, you have burn marks all everywhere, you want to be really careful, especially using a brush, because a brush is very strong. But look how much cleaner it looks. Look at that. I am the ultrasonic. The brush is the ultrasonic. 
Okay, enough of that. So, uh, we'll we'll be, be back. I'm gonna go through the ultrasonic, put some alcohol in it, let it go, and then we'll go ahead and check it check it out after it dries. It's not really a fun thing, but I'll show the before and after. We have a video already talking about it. It's just dipping in ultrasonic. There's a Branson mix that we use, and that everyone <laughs> everyone that has ultrasonic uses. Okay, and we're back from the ultrasonic. Look how beautiful and clean everything is. Wow. The top part we can see all the connections totally fine all up here looks very clean looks like it never even happened there's areas all the components look good resistors all look very good and healthy oh man i'm excited to try it what do you guys think let's go ahead and see if it works let's go ahead and test it put it in oh man pretty quick we'll hold the option don't really want to get to the thing and looks good it's mac os installer and windows okay <laughs> says a few partitions on there too but everything looks to be good anyways guys i hope you guys are watching this video on doing a repair for the a1465 this is the old 11 inch probably one of my favorite ones um that they've actually made because i love the form factor uh, macbook air uh if you leave if you like this video please leave a like really does help us a lot we have lots of other macbook air repairs we have macbook pros and ones uh just check out the channel. It's actually pretty cool. We got a lot of different stuff in there. If you're really interested in that, a little bit more in-depth repairs, a lot more severe damage. We'll also leave links probably at the end of the video. You can go ahead and check out those out as well. But uh, thanks a lot for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next video. Take care. Bye.